welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle and welcome to Pinay Daily Story. So today, I'll show you how I did um, blur my content or part of my content just to make sure I will cover my ass from any possible copyright strike. So if you are one of those people who are worried about their videos being deleted or being flagged as a copyright strike, then watch this video until the end so that you will know how to blur the certain part of the video so that you will be able to keep this video on your channel. Okay, so I'm going to share this uh, screen and please okay, wait. Stay tuned. All right, so this is my uh, video that I blur, as you can see. At this timestamp, I will be picking up this video. At this point, I look so thirsty right there. I'm sneaking up because of my ring light is um, in front of my camera. So if I play this, okay. Kinamad na ako kung managay Ginawa kong tubig yung kape. Okay. So, if you have noticed it, that I put another blur box there, and it's still way off to the, towards the TV. But the whole point here is to cover whatever is playing in the background, especially television, because these are... Um, paid works. These are what they call this paid talents. So there's a um, what they call this. These are there are money involved in this particular content. So they are copyrighted content. And that um, if you wanted to know more of this copyright um, law or copyright um, deals, you can go to YouTube community. Um, community guidelines and at the same time uh, chat with this expert on YouTube studio for you to know which part of this video has been copyrighted but of course my content today is focusing on the television so I wanted to make sure that I will be able to um, share with you what I did on my part um, as I was worried about uh, getting a copyright strike if this video will be reviewed by youtube so for a small youtuber like me that is not yet monetized it's very crucial to be uploading a video that has a background tv or the noise of the tv or whatever program was running or even the entire video or the movie itself um let's say if it's a, if it's a on-demand program or whatnot so that's why I am here to show you this, uh, this one of the feature of YouTube Studio. So am I really liable? I, am I really reliable to do this, to do this tutorial? Um, I did a um, YouTube tester. I've been a YouTube tester for one year and that um, I review some of these features of YouTube Studio and that for this blur was launched when the blur um, tool was launched or this feature features feature rather um, I did some exploring but I really or never have any chance to do it on my um, on my what they call this on my content I did a practice before because I don't have any any content that really needed to have a blur but yet, um, I tried this one this time um, when I captured this uh, Loki, Loki mukbang. Uh, I realized that, oh my God, the, the TV is on there. And that um, when I lift this cup, when I tried to save on the coffee, it revealed the whole deal of the, or the whole thing in the television. Although it's a ch children's channel, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to make sure that one day, if I would be reviewed by YouTube, I will not have any, I will not take any chances. But this is something that um, out of my carelessness, okay? 
So if you can do your video right at the first time, please do that. So if it's not really needed to um, either trim or blur, just don't do it. Or, you know, because there is a chance like this. I put this um, trim. I mean, not trim, but I put this blur way off from this TV. But if you notice also earlier in this video, I also um, put a blur, another blur. Hindi just... naman ako bunti. Okay. I'll just make this. Okay, so this one is way off too. It's almost covering my half of my face. And I was thinking that it is going to cover the TV. So the TV was just this small. So if you put this um, way off or, you know, not really exactly where you want it, you don't want to have an angry output of your videos. So better do it right on your, on your first attempt so that you will not be having this hassle to do the blurring. So this might, this might apply also, or this might help for those people that are taking a video outdoor and then somebody, pa a passerby, um, show up there or it was, he was captured or that person is not really comfortable to be appearing on the TV or appearing on the so YouTube TV too. It's, it's going to be played on YouTube TV and or a in the internet okay so there are sensitive people that doesn't want to be involved or will not be showing in any um, online platforms or social media platforms if you're familiar of these um impractical joker and uh, if they have this um what they call these challenges and they're in uh, at the outdoor um they usually blur people that uh, doesn't want to be seen on the tv so that's one um that's one sample of it but anyway i will show you how i do it so since this one in this part it is partly covered by this cup cup of coffee but on the latter part here this one i just added it um lately probably two days ago i added this uh, blur at this 1315. Okay. Okay. It's supposed to really be um, done. I should put the blur 1314 because 1314, I lifted the cup. No, 1315. 1313, rather. I lifted the cup put it down but i was able to add this blur on 1316 so the time is not really exact and then the position is still way off for a little bit it's not really that far but this time my cup almost covered already the what they call this almost covered already the television okay so let's go to the um, YouTube Studio. Let's look for that uh, particular content. I'm going to show you now how I do it. So I mentioned 1314 because when I lifted it, it's 13. No, 1313. I lifted it and then 1314, 1315, I put it down. So there were just three seconds of the time for the time frame. So what I'll do is I will look for the video here. Let me see. Okay, I think it's on the first page. Okay, some instance that um you encounter this copyright claim or copyright strike or uh, um you have to look at it or try to watch the video first what is really captured is it the background noise in the on the tv or if it's the video on the tv so either you can go ahead either either mute or trim 
or just blur it if it's going to be visual. So this is the one. I'll click this pen icon. Um, and the name of this is the detail button. Details button. Then you have on the left hand corner, you have under details, analytics, editor, select editor. So once you select the editor, of course, you will have this, uh, the editor page for the video. I usually put here 13, 13, 0, 0. So while you're typing it here, this line supposedly as default, it is on this portion. But was, as soon as you have already typed it here, this number, the timestamp, the line here, the line here is already here, the position. So what I, what I was trying to, um, what they call this, what I was trying to, um, what I was trying to confirm is how long did it take for it to um, put down the cup. Because when I put down the cup, it cover already the television, so it doesn't really matter. It's only the time that I lift it up. So if it's already done, you have made this um, timestamp. You enter the timestamp, so this line is going to be here. So what you needed to do is to click um, is to click the, not the trim, okay? It's to click the blur. So either you can click here in the plus sign to face blur if it's a face and then custom blur. Custom blur will be box. So if you will not be clicking on this plus sign, you can click here and then custom blur. When you do the custom blur, of course, I'm gonna put my face here. And then you can stretch this one bigger, make it bigger. So I put my deal here, somewhere here, and that it would not be that big, just the television was this big. And my cup was here, covering it. So make it lower, more lower then. Okay, now, like I said, the crucial part here is that once you have already saved it, you will not be able to revert it. So it will remain there. Now, how will I be certain if it's on the right position if I am not seeing anything here? I'm not really sure if you're if it's something to do with my internet connection or low connection. And that, that might be the reason it's not showing anything here. And that if I will be playing it, the sound is playing, but you are not seeing anything on the screen. So it's just difficult to just be saving it here. Okay. So once you are sure that the position is right there, it's a matter of estimating it. Where about or measuring it, where, where is the exact position of the um, element I wanted to um, or the thing that you wanted to blur. So same with the person. You have to... Um, put the time frame where it, the person appears. So if it's going to be, um, if you wanted to put the face on a box or just a square, it's fine. You can use this if you just wanted to blur the face and if it's not moving, okay? But if it's running or there's a motion, there's another one will be a face uh, blur. So let me delete this element because I might save it there and it will screw up my video. So let's try the face blur. In the face blur here, what is seen on this video is a face on the TV. Okay. So it's my face. Of course, I will not blur my face, right? Because I'm the vlogger. Then I will have to... I will have to check on this. All right. So that's it for my video today.
if you have um, any question, please comment below and um, I will go ahead and read that for, for you. All right, so that's it for the video today. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to get updated on my next upcoming video. Have a great day. Bye.